Like and do awesome code. Please subscribe to my channel and like my video. In this video, we are going to write a simple intrusion detection system, IDS, in Python. So our example will focus on network traffic analysis and use a basic pattern matching approach to detect suspicious activity based on predefined rules. So first we are going to uh, import socket. This module uh, provides access to the BSD socket interface allowing us to create a raw socket. Then we are going to import struct. This module provides tools for working with C-style data structure and used to unpack that ethernet header. Now we are going to define a simple rule for suspicious activity the suspicious pattern so let's do it So we are defining a list here uh, for the suspicious pattern uh, containing keyword or domain names that are considered suspicious. You can expand this list with more complex pattern based on your needs. So we are just uh, doing uh, this for a simple example. So this will be such as danger com and unauthorized access now we are going to define our function it it will uh, sniff packets so package need for function. First, we are going to create a socket. And we will create a socket with socket uh, AF uh, packet, which allows the program to capture all network packets at the data link layer. So this is our function. And now create a raw socket to capture all packets. This one over here. Uh, in the context of our code, I represent the protocol family uh, used uh, when creating the raw socket. Specifically, it refers to the internet protocol, which is commonly used in local area network. 
So this is a way to specify that the socket should capture all types of Ethernet traffic. And now we are going to uh, use a loop here and the while loop uh, uh, will loop and keeps the sniffer running indefinitely waiting to receive packets so let's do that it's gonna do while true receive a packet So here we are doing packet reception. Sock dot. Uh, this is a receive. See. We receive from uh, capture packets. The buffer size is set to sixty five five three five bytes to accommodate large packets. And now we are going to extract the Ethernet header plus 14 bytes. So that will be eat header set to raw data. First 14 bytes. Data. Struct. Unpack. And now for the Ethernet header expression, the first 14 bytes of the packets uh will be extracted which represent the ethernet header we use struct dot uh, unpack now so the n unpack to convert these bytes into a more usable format the source and destination mac addresses and the protocol So we are going to add this string. In the struct unpack function is a former specifier that defines how to interpret the byte data from the ethernet header we can uh, break down the format specifier uh, this exclamation over here this character indicates that the data should be interpreted in network byte order Big Indian. This is important for consistent byte order across different systems. Then we have a uh, 6S. This specifies uh, that the first part of the data consists of six bytes, the size of a MAC address. 
and is used to be created as a string in the context of Ethernet frames. The first six bytes represent the destination MAC address. Then we have another success here. Similar to the previous one, this indicates another six bytes that represent the source MAC address. Then we have H at the end. This specified that the next part of the data is unsigned short two bytes. This typically represent the ether type field, which indicates the protocol encapsulated in the Ethernet frame. Example, IPv4 ARP. So when we call struct dot unpack and pause this, you are interpreting the first 14 bytes of the internet frame, such as the first six bytes are the destination MAC address, the next six bytes are the source MAC address, the last two bytes are the ether type indicating the protocol type. This unpacked data can then be used for further processing or analysis in our intuition detection system. So let's move on. And now we are going to check for suspicious pattern. This will be payload set to raw data. So now it's uh, for payload checking. The rest of the packet starting from the 15th byte is considered the payload. We will check if any of the suspicious pattern are present, present in the payload. for pattern in uh, our suspicious patterns. If Hacker, pattern encode in payload we are going to print message suspicious activity detected and the pattern and the press. So we're just gonna print. Using F string. So for the detection, if a pattern is found, a message is printing, indicating the detection of suspicious activity along with the address of the sender. So we are going to now write a main block and when the script is executed, it will start the packet sniffer and print a message indicating that it's running. So let's... Uh, Write our main
Starting backhead sniffer. Using detection. And now we need to call our function snake packet. This one is print, not print out. This is Python. So we need to fix it. C is missing over here, receive form. And now we can start our IDS. And let's hit enter. And it started packet sniffing into your detection. To keep on learning, please subscribe to my channel, Awesome Code, like my video, keep supporting me, and thank you for watching. You need to have a I also forgot to pass an ETH header, so let's go and fix it here. ETH header, it takes two arguments. Now we can start it again. Yep, it's up and running. Thank you for watching.